So these are just some random corporate uh, shots I've done for, I say corporate, uh, and by that I just mean a little more, a little more, you know, formal. Uh, this is my friend Donald Miller. He's an author. You know, nice, simple lighting. Um, I used a big soft light to light his face. So, uh, the bigger the light, usually the more flattering. So if you can find a source of light that's large and soft, think of it like a, a cloudy day. The light's a lot more beautiful than harsh uh, sunlight. So find a large source for your lighting. Um, let's see. I shot my friend Michael Hyatt. I did his headshots. Michael's a great, uh, great speaker and author, and Michael's a good friend of mine. And these, uh, this is a little more casual. He's just hanging out on a bench, but you know, good, good natural smile there. Um, you know, we did do some of the more formal stuff like this. Um, but then I also caught him like this to me shows a little more personality. It's a little more laid back, um, shows him in a working environment with his computer and his whole, his whole setup there, which I think is cool. Um, and then, you know, I got him in front of a, a what I use a lot, a ring light, which is literally, uh, just a big ring of light. I'm using one right now to light myself. Um, so it's a real simple shot of Michael and then I got him screaming and goofing off. And so Michael would probably never use this as his LinkedIn shot perhaps, but, uh, it's still a fun way to show his personality. So uh, just, just to jump in on that as well, uh, I, uh, with the, the photo with, um, him in front of his computer and Michael with his, you know, microphone. He's obviously doing, you know, a lot of podcasting and uh, online recording. Uh, so it sh kind of shows his workplace. Is that, uh, you know, should people, if they're, you know, selling maybe a physical product, should they be showing that in their photo? Uh, can you talk to us a bit about that? Yeah, I mean, obviously it depends on what you do for a living. Um, but, uh, I, I, you know, a lot of photographers will hold a camera in their photo and, I don't know, to me that can be a little over the top and cheesy. Um, but if you really want to communicate, hey, I'm a photographer, then go for it. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's super necessary in most professions to literally show what you do. I think as long as it's a good um, natural photo of you uh, showing whatever, whichever side of your personality um, is great, but I just like things a little more laid back. This is a, a former um, editor in chief of Southern Living Magazine. This is some shots I did for him, um, a little more casual. These are um, some of my more corporate. This is uh, Dan Cathy from Chick fil A. Um, that's obviously showing off a little bit more personality for him. Um, I don't know if that makes a great avatar because avatars usually really do want to get crop right up on as a square right on a face and so that might not be the best square but it's still a fun photo to have um, you know this might be a better square crop he's looking off camera but it's still nicely lit and it shows some uh, personality um, and then if we go into some uh, other work um, You know, like these are uh, just some modeling shots I've done. Uh, this to me would be if you if you just want to show who you are outside of your work, a shot of a girl riding a bike, like that's a fun uh, lifestyle type shot. Um, I like this one. This is a good, that's good showing personality. Um, you know, that to me is professional, but still very fun and engaging and shows a lot of personality, um, something along those lines. What I refer, lifestyle usually means uh, caught in a moment, um, fun, happy. Uh, this would be a good lifestyle type image too. You know, I'm just thinking in terms of those those lifestyle images, and uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, you know people smiling, and you know, what makes a photo welcoming? I mean, should you be smiling? Should you be looking away from the camera? Uh, I mean, there's obviously lots of ways to do this, but what are some kind of key things that people should be thinking about? I don't think there are any rules per se. I mean, it just depends on what what kind of vibe you want to put out there. Uh, but, you know, I think eye contact is certainly good to make a connection with the camera. This is my friend Mary L. She's an actress. Uh, so the shoot I did for her. And this is one of the few kind of more corporate, 
not corporate, I keep using that word, that's a better word to use, but more lifestyle, kind of nice and natural. Um, then we go a little more serious here. So to me, this would be a darker actor shot and the others would be for a different type. And, you know, you could almost compare it to her where she's, it depends on what type of film she's auditioning for. So you could think of that the same way from a business standpoint as what kind of job are you are you looking for? Because see, we went, we went from these photos, nice and natural, to, you know, some really dark, darker, moody kind of stuff. Um, so I, I like to shoot across the board from dark and, and vibey to, you know, bright and natural. So um, again, those are just some random examples of some of my photos. Um, 